Artificial intelligence is the future, and China plans to be at the forefront of innovation in this area. To get ahead of the world and beat the US in the current fierce trade war, China has incorporated as much of this technology as possible. One main area seeing an increase in AI use has been in the Chinese school system. Why, you ask? Well, let's find out. Why is China going all in on AI? Children are the future, and a nation that invests in its youth is bound to see returns. China has taken this to heart and has focused its efforts on improving the younger generation so they can lead their country to greatness. One of the most notable instances of their success in this regard is Vita Zhao. Vita Zhao is an 8-year-old who hosts training videos for other children on how to code for artificial intelligence. Yes, you heard that right. There's an 8-year-old who is teaching artificial intelligence coding to kids. Until fairly recently, China was lagging behind the rest of the world in the field of artificial intelligence. Its scientists in this area numbered fewer than one-fifth of what the US had, and China was determined to make a change. The government added AI everywhere it could, from supermarkets that scan your face and deduct charges directly from your bank account, to robots that make your life as smart as possible. This was only phase one of the plan, though. Once citizens were used to the system, China moved into phase two, producing a workforce that was skilled in this unique industry. Unlike traditional skills, artificial intelligence isn't something you can teach to any layman. To produce skilled workers, it was necessary to start at the beginning, and that's exactly what China did. What is China doing? China completely revamped its syllabus and educational standards, adding artificial intelligence, big data, and quantum computing to the curriculum. From headbands that use brain waves to measure concentration, to cameras employing complex algorithms that let teachers know how many times a student checks their phone in class, AI is everywhere. New AI Tech in Schools First of all, let's talk about those headbands. China has introduced concentration measuring headbands into their classrooms. The headbands are fitted with three electrodes, two above each ear and one on the forehead. These electrodes measure the electrical signals of the brain and compare them to patterns established where the child is resting to judge if they are paying attention or not. An LED indicator on the front of the headband alerts teachers to the mental state of students. Red means they are deeply focused, blue means they are distracted, and white means they're offline. The data is refreshed every 10 minutes and sent to the teacher's computer so that they can also make sure that the way they are teaching is engaging, more interesting, and engaging instruction means students are distracted less easily. A low class average in concentration suggests that there is something wrong with the teacher, and as a result, teachers are motivated to work harder. Along with everything being recorded, teachers and students both were forced to be more productive and focused. Data Breach and Concerns if you have questions or concerns about the data being collected, you aren't the only one. This data has been sent to the government, teachers, and even parents. Parents could compare the concentration levels of their child to the rest of the class and see if their kid was paying attention or not. While this has been seen to help improve scores, it's also led to huge data leaks. Teachers, parents, and students are concerned because no one knows where the data is being sent or kept. Some people have compared it to jail or imprisonment. Chips in their jackets constantly track where students go and can cameras record their every movement. In an interview, Chinese kids mentioned that their stress levels have increased as a result of constant monitoring. Some parents, however, seem happy and unconcerned with these points and willingly consented to these experiments. Accuracy Issues with Data Validation China's artificial intelligence program is the world's largest artificial intelligence experiment ever, and all the data gained from it is meant to help China improve its systems and make them smarter. This, however, isn't as easy nor as accurate as it sounds. First of all, the headbands being used on the students utilize EEG, or electroencephalography. Government-run EEG is a sensitive procedure, and letting 8-year-old kids attach electrodes to themselves is bound to result in skewed or incorrect data. Furthermore, EEG itself Itself isn't that reliable when it comes to measuring concentration, and any change in behavior, like fidgeting or stress, can affect the results. The Chinese government has chosen to ignore this for the time being, although it's rumored that more accurate algorithms and instruments are being developed. Movement against it the other equipment currently being used, like the jackets implanted with tracking chips or the cameras that record children's facial expressions, also raise security and privacy concerns. Tracking a child's every movement and every facial expression for secret government projects has raised both moral and ethical concerns. This has promoted an online movement against continuous surveillance of children, but so far no major action has been taken against these activities. 
What do you think about artificial intelligence in classrooms? Is it a good idea or do you think it's too much? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to Tech Division and hit the bell icon for notifications.